Hello and welcome to another edition of the FloridaHockeyNow.com Panthers post game. I'm your host George Richards. Uh, tonight the Florida Panthers beat the Chicago Blackhawks for nothing. Sergei Bobrovsky with his third shutout of the season. Bob makes uh, 37 saves. I think 37 saves. Uh, we'll have to look here. Hold on. Uh, 37 saves for Sergei Bobrovsky. Uh, the Florida Panthers. Um, take a 3 nothing lead into the third period. They hold on. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks Hawks played a really tough game. They really shut down the Panthers uh, from what they wanted to do. Panthers still end up with four goals, but uh, one of those came on a five-on-three power play. And, uh, you know, for Chicago, a team that's been out of the playoffs for a long time, they certainly gave the Panthers a lot that, a lot to deal with. So um, Sasha Barkov appeared to uh, score the opening goal 41 seconds into the game. Uh, appeared that Sasha used his skate. Uh, he went to the video review. Hockey Central in Toronto dictated that Barkov kicked the puck he used his skate to kick it in which is a no-no it's against the rules in hockey um listen uh barkov said yeah he probably kicked it he was trying to get it up to a stick so he could put it through um andrew burnett uh you'll see his video down below was like eh, i don't know maybe maybe it was 50 50 as brunette said it could have gone either way so florida panthers end up the the, the game remains scoreless chicago it looked like the, the Panthers were just going to be busting it out on, on Chicago, and they end up keeping it tight. Sasha Barco does give the Panthers a one nothing lead. That comes with 136 left in the first period. Barkoff with just a sick goal, work using the hands, f front to back, boom. Uh, he makes it one nothing. Ryan Lomberg opens up the scoring in the second period. He gets his ninth of the season. Barkov's goal, 30, number 30. That's a, that's a milestone for Sasha Barkov, a very nice number. He's five away from tying his franchise, for his, his career high uh, of 35 set back in 2018. Uh, Barkov's got 15 games left to get five goals and tie that. Uh, Ryan Lomberg's already set a career high. Tonight was his ninth goal. Just a beautiful shot by Lomberg. He's playing really well. He earned that promotion up to the second line. He's playing like a guy who doesn't want to give it up. He likes playing with the big guys. So, yeah, uh, Ryan Lomberg, very nice. Gus Forsling had a terrific all-around game tonight. He makes it 3 nothing. He scores at 11.46 of the second period. Great, great game for Forsling on both ends of the ice. His shot was what Barkov was putting in with 40 seconds into the game. Just a fat rebound left that Barkov came in. Kind of caught him unawares. It came off so quickly, but um, anyway, Gus Forsling with a very nice game. Florida ends the scoring with at uh, with six thirteen remaining. Sasha Barkov if again. Florida had a five on three power play for a minute 50 and that's just not fair because the Florida Panthers have a ton of firepower on that power play having a two-man advantage just ain't right Sasha Barkov ends up scoring it uh, with a beautiful one-timer from the right circle uh, that was his 31st of the season so uh, he's got four so he needs four to tie his career high so good for Sasha Barkov and good for Sergei Bobrovsky he spoke about a lot of things in the post game you can watch that video here uh, on the YouTube channel as you know all of you please subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, check that out um, we're, we're trying to get to a thousand followers so we can do a lot of this live stuff and we can answer questions while we're on the air uh, so tell your friends tell your neighbors tell your co-workers uh, check out the U the Florida Hockey Now YouTube channel and hit subscribe uh, anyway we've got uh, Sasha Barkov we've got Sergey Bobrovsky and we've got uh, Andrew Burnett talking uh, that'll be on the YouTube channel here uh, momentarily as soon as I get upstairs and can put it together but a nice win for the Panthers they've won five straight here at FLA Live Arena uh, they are on the road now for the next two. They've got back-to-backs. -back, so they're going to practice here tomorrow um, in, in this arena, and then they're going to they're going to play an early game, 12:30 start in Newark, New Jersey, against them Devils on Saturday, and then on Sunday the Panthers are playing in Buffalo. Another early start. That's at one o'clock, and then the Panthers are back here next week. So a very quick road trip. Uh, they're going into New York City tomorrow, and then they're going up up to a Western New York to take on the Sabres. Again, don't forget, follow us right here. Subscribe, 
the YouTube channel, Florida Hockey Now. Come visit us at floridahockeynow.com, your best place for Florida Panthers news. It's, it's hands down there. You're not going to get more, better Florida Panthers news than you do at floridahockeynow.com. Come see us. Tell them George sent you. That's me. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We will uh, talk to you this weekend. Have a good one.